Today we're going to be reading The Recess Queen by Alexis O'Neill, illustrated by Laura Haluska Beeth. This book is being read with permission from Scholastic Press. So while we read, I want you to look at the faces of the characters and think about how they may be feeling and think about why the illustrator may have drawn them this way. Mean Jean was recess queen and nobody said any different. Nobody swung until Mean Jean swung. Nobody kicked until Mean Jean kicked. Nobody bounced until Mean Jean bounced. If kids ever cross her, she'd push them and smush them. Lollapalooch them, hammer them, slammer them, kits and kajammer them. Say what? Mean Jean growled. Say who? Mean Jean howled. Say you. Just who do you think you're talking to? Mean Jean always got her way until one day. So the phrase until one day makes me think that the author's trying to tell us something is about to happen that might change the story. So what do you think might happen? Let's read to find out. A new kid came to school, Katie Sue. A teeny kid, a tiny kid, a kid you might scare with a jump and a boo. But when the recess bell went ringity ring, this kid ran zingity zing for the playground gate. Katie Sue swung before Mean Jean swung. Katie Sue kicked before Mean Jean kicked. Katie Sue bounced before Mean Jean bounced. The kid you might scare with a jump and a boo was too new to know about Mean Jean the recess queen. Well, Mean Jean bullied through the playground crowd. Like always, she pushed kids and smushed kids, lollapalooshed kids, hammered them, slammered them, kits and kajammered them as she charged after that Katie Sue. Say what, she growled. Say who, she howled. Say you, she snarled and grabbed Katie Sue by the collar. Nobody swings until Queen Jean swings. Nobody kicks until Queen Jean kicks. Nobody bounces until Queen Jean bounces, and she figured that would set the record straight. So let's take a look at Katie Sue's facial expressions. What kind of feelings do you think the author is trying to show, or the illustrator is trying to show us with Katie Sue? Katie Sue looks a little worried. She looks a little scared, and we can tell this by kind of her eyebrows and her eyes are big and her mouth is really tight. So next, let's take a look at Mean Jean. Um, how do you think Mean Jean is feeling right now? I think Mean Jean might be a little angry. She's got steam coming out of her ears and the author showing her mouth really wide like she's yelling. Her eyes are really closed. She's kind of snarling at Katie Sue. She figured wrong. Katie Sue talked back, just as sassy as could be. She said, how did you get so bossy? Then that puny thing, that loony thing, grabbed the ball and bounced away. Oh, Katie Sue was one quick kid. She bolted quick as lightning. Bouncity, bouncity, bounce. Kickity, kickity, kick. Swingity, swingity, swing. Mean Jean thundered close behind. Bouncity, kickity, swingity. The recess queen was not amused. She raised and chased and in your face that Katie Sue. No one spoke. No one moved. No one breathed. Then from her pack pulled Katie Sue a jump rope clean and bright. Hey, Jeannie Beanie, sang Katie Sue, let's try this jump rope out. Here's one thing true. Until that day, no one dared ask Mean Jean to play. But that Katie Sue just hopped and jumped and skipped away. I like ice cream, I like tea, I want Jean to jump with me. Jean just gaped and stared as if too scared to move at all. So Katie Sue sang once more, I like popcorn, I like tea, I want Jean to jump with me. Hmm, I wonder if Katie Sue made the right decision to invite Mean Jean to play. How do you think Mean Jean's going to respond? 
Then from the side, a kid called out, go, Jean, go. And too surprised to even shout, Jean jumped in with Katie Sue. I like cookies. I like tea. I want you to jump with me. The rope whizzed and slapped faster, faster. The rope spun and flapped faster, faster, till it caught in a tangled disaster. But they just giggled and jumped again. Well, now when recess rolls around, that playground's one great place. At the school bell's ringity ring, those two girls race zingity zing out the classroom door. Jean doesn't push kids and smush kids, lollipalush kids, hammer em, slammer em, kids and kajammer em, cause she's having too much fun rompity rompin' with her friends. Bouncity, kickity, swingity, poppity, skippity, jumpity, ringity, zingity. Yes! So, do you think Katie Sue made the right choice by inviting Mean Jean to play with her? Um, how did that change Mean Jean's attitude about her classmates at recess? I think Katie Sue made a good choice inviting Mean Jean to play because it taught a lesson that um, everyone deserves a friend to play with at recess and sometimes you just have to ask someone to play with you even if they're not always kind. So I want you to comment down below a time when you could be a good friend to others. Um, you, this could be at school, at home, anywhere that you have friends and that you could be kind to others. I want you to comment that down below. But I also want to thank the author, Alexis O'Neill, for allowing us to read The Recess Queen and the illustrator, Laura Haliska Beeth, for drawing amazing pictures that really added to our story today. Hope you guys enjoyed the read aloud as much as I did. Make sure you comment down below and come back later for some more awesome read alouds.